Hey guys, it's me, a little Sir Fetched, and welcome back to the Pokemon Black Randomized Farfetch'd Run. This is episode 2. <laughs> Crazy. So last time we left off, we were defeated by Inn's Kangaskhan. And now, I've trained up a bit, so hopefully we should be able to defeat Inn's Kangaskhan. We're not the same level anymore. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, good, it's still level 7. For some reason I was worried that it would level up somehow, but I know it wasn't going to. So yeah, I'm level 12, he's level 12, and I think we've got this. Look at how much damage he's doing. He's not doing anything, and I'm gonna win this, yes! So yeah. I've come to the conclusion, just like in previous series, that the first gift Pokémon that we are given will be our HM Pokemon, even though we're probably going to have to have two HM Pokemon. The first gift Pokemon, I'm pretty sure, is the monkeys. The elemental monkeys. Uh, Pan Sage, Pan Poor, or Pan Seer. I never expected to hear Pokemon say such things. <clears throat> As long as Pokemon are confined in Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon because they're my friends. Okay, goodbye! Huh, strange guy. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. I aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. <clears throat> okay. Bye-bye now. I still can't run. It's kind of making me sad that I can't run. To you guys, or girls, if any items to give me, please. I, I want something. Anything up here? Family? Well, I mean, I would put stuff in there if I had the money to, but I spent it all on potions and pokeballs. The exact same things that you told me to store in there. I'm not checking every house. Hello, I'm still walking. Don't have any shoes. <sighs> when do I get the running shoes? Hello? Fetch! It's your mom! How are things? Are you and your Pokemon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I need to talk to you, so I... I need to talk to you, so I called, but I'm gonna hang up. The extra transceiver now. <gasps> Fetch? I finally caught up to with you. And look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Striaton City by now. I have another present for you, Fetch. Try these on! I got the running shoes. <clears throat> When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the- <sighs> I don't need the instructions. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. I found them when I was cleaning up. Guess it's good to clean occasionally. Fetch, you never- You understood that. You understand that you're never really alone, right? You're with Pokemon, you have friends, and you're always in my thoughts. That's alright, then. Enjoy your trip. I can run, look I can run, I don't have to walk everywhere. <sighs> oh no, it's Jolteon! <clears throat> My worst enemy from the last series, because that thing had speed boost. Any cool items? Ooh, a honey! What does honey do? I don't remember what honey does. A sweet honey with a lush aroma that attracts wild Pokemon when it is used in grass, caves, or in special trees. Oh, yeah, duh. Skunk Tank! One of my favorite Gen 4 Pokemon. And I think probably my, yeah, my favorite poison type Pokemon. Come on, now that I can run, I can see, like, all these encounters faster. Oh, wow, I move so much faster. You never you never know what it's like to have running shoes until you don't have them. Going so long since the last episode of Farfetch'd Run to this, to this one. 
It feels like it's been a long time since I've been able to run. Okay. So are you gonna... Give me a part fetch this route, because that'd be really cool. If not, that's fine. But that'd be really cool to have another one. Another Charizard? So I was training in between episodes on the route back the first route and Charizard was on that route so I just encountered a second Charizard <clears throat> that's crazy okay let's if this is a trainer I'm gonna fight this person nope you're not a trainer okay don't want to fight you anyway I can't wait till I get Thief, because I do remember that I do have the every Pokemon is holding wild items option set on. I forgot to set on the abilities, but I didn't forget the other thing. Hello, Wellington. Oh no, our first big opponent. Our first trainer that's not a story trainer. Is this really our first trainer that's not a part of the story? Which is like a wild, like a random trainer? That's so weird. Have we not experienced a, like just a random trainer by now? This is also my first series, I think, since... Uh, Storm Silver. That I'm on the... Drastic again. It feels so long since I've been there. <gasps> I already got Aerial Ace? What? Yeah! Man, if I would have been one level higher, I could have easily defeated that Kangaskhan. I mean, I still did, but still, I could have easily done it. Okay, are you. You're just gonna tell me about the ledge, aren't you? Yep, that's a ledge, alright. I'm not, I'm not following you. Don't think I'm following you. Just walk on the road. Pokemon only appear in the tall grass. I like how they have to say tall grass because I'm technically walking on grass right now. But it's, it's, it's not tall grass. Think about that one. Strong man forest. <laughs> That's amazing. My moveset is already superior to the last series, and I've only- this is only episode two. And that's crazy. So look at that, I already have Aerial Ace. Uh, Leer, Knockoff, they're good. But Fury Attack is eh, I guess. It's not the best move, and I think Knockoff got worse this generation, because I checked it, and it had like 20 power points- not 20 power points, but- 20, uh, power, I guess. It only hit for, like, 20. I don't know how you would say that. Its power was 20. I think that's what you would say. So it did nothing. Which is kind of sad. I'm gonna fight this guy over here. There's a lot of, like, areas in this early route that require strength to get the Pokeballs. Because there's that one back there, and I th if I remember, there's one over here that requires strength? If I'm not forgetting something? You know what's really cool about this in the next game? Is we get a guaranteed lucky egg. No, this one requires cut. We get a guaranteed lucky egg in this series from, like, now on, except for Ruby and Sapphire will be back to not guaranteed, but, you know. This, and then Black and White 2 are guaranteed there's an area where you get lucky eggs. Basically, every single game, I think, is giving you a guaranteed lucky egg. Not always during the story, because there is that one with Kukui that you get after the story in Sun and Moon. Please! The Pokemon I caught have become a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. 
there is uh, the Kukui gives you a lucky egg after catching 50 Pokemon, but I think that's only during the post game. But, like, lucky eggs are no longer. Well, you know, I'm, I'm kind of being stupid here. What I'm trying to say here is. I thought they were all guaranteed, because I know you get a guaranteed one in X and Y, and then this, and then black and white too. But I think after X and Y, they just stopped being guaranteed. In Oras, you have to Dex Nav Pelipper to find a lucky egg. And I know for a fact that Sun and Moon has the whole getting it from Kukui in the post-game thing, I believe. Schoolboy Joe sent it for fitched. Her <laughs> Farfetch is gonna lose because mine's superior. Oh no. Uh oh, am I in trouble? You're about to be when I knock off. No, that's not fair. You can't cheat. That's cheating. Fine, you know what? I'll just use Aerial Ace again. Goodbye. And she couldn't win. Oh man. Woohoo! You are a tough cookie, Fetch. I'm gonna work hard on training my Pokemon so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye, Bianca. And now it's time to go acquire an elemental monkey. Striated City. I remember partially, like, two or three names from the city. I remember Driftfeel. I remember... Uh, Driftfeel. And Driftfeel. I don't remember any of the cities from this game. Oh, wait. I remember Icarus, I think, is what it's called. Icarus Town or something like that. It's the Dragon Gym Town. Is that right? Is it Icarus City? It might just be Icarus City. Hold on. Icarus. Icarus City. Yes, I was right. It is... Not... The... Dragon Gym, however... Oh, wow, that's an Arceus. Sorry, I was distracted for a second, but that's an Arceus. That is our first legendary slash mythical Pokemon that we've encountered. Oh, this thing sucks. Oh, that's just great. Come on, come on, just let me win. This thing is still faster than us. At least we're gonna get a ton of experience from this. Like, probably 300. 500 is good. We're almost level 15 before the gym. I might have overtrained for this. Okay, you're not the person. You're the person, I think, that gives me the, the monkey. Which won't be a monkey, I'm pretty sure, unless I forgot to change that. I don't know why I would have forgotten to change it, but there is a chance I forgot to. We're about to find out if I can get past this ride on, though. Oh man, flashbacks to episode 1 of the... Leaf Green Farfetch. No, it was episode two of the Leaf Green Farfetch run when we got taken down by Rhydon. It's getting close. Getting really close. I'm losing my health. 
I'm gonna be level 16 before the gym later. I'm probably gonna be level 17 before the gym later if things are going how they... Well, there's our second crazy beast. I think this is the generation where they also give you a fresh water at each gym, too. Oh, shoot. Oh, man, this thing's got rocks on its side. Oh, that makes sense. It's because he's a fire and rock type, isn't he? That would make sense why he's got fire, that way he's got rocks on his side. Oh no. This is no bueno. <laughs> oh, yes! My favorite thing about Black and White. I love this music. Oh, it's the best thing about Black and White. I might have to heal with the fresh water. I'll get a free one anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna have to heal with the fresh water if I'm gonna get through this battle. Please, please. I think if he uses one more ancient power, he's out of ancient power, and then he's gone the whole entire time without a speed boost or any boost. Yes! I beat him without him ever getting a boost. That's gonna be another 500 experience. Thank you. Or 227. Mesprit? How many legendary Pokemon are we gonna be fighting? I swear I said it to the fully evolved is at level 48, not level 8. Oh, this is also the first generation in which Pokemon actually sleep. Oh, this generation was beautiful. Why does it not get talked about that much, except for when talking about how lazy the Pokemon were? I mean, come on, they had to come up with 156 Pokemon. I think I heard they came up with, like, 300 before they narrowed it down to 156 or something like that. Hello? Hey, hey you, what was the first Pokemon you received? Farfetch'd? Really? Then Stunky will be a great help. Your Farfetch does not do well against Grass-type Pokemon. Hmm, I don't think that's true. They can use fire. Okay, Stunky can use fire moves. Don't forget that. Stunky can very well use fire moves. It can use flamethrower. Well, I guess we got our HM Pokemon. Speaking of me liking Skunk Tank, here's Stunky. Just the pre evolved form of the adorable Skunk Tank. And yes, I called Skunk Tank adorable. He is adorable in his own way. Oh, dang it, I can't reach another route. I wanted to reach that route. I guess it's fine. Uh, we can move on then. Can I go this way? Is there a route I can go this way? I don't think I can go any further that way, though. I think that guy stops me. Yeah. I expected this much. I expected you would stop me. Do you have a Pokemon? Uh, yeah, I do know how technical machines work. I've used a couple in my playthroughs of Pokemon. Just a couple, though. Oh, there's an item back here, though. A lava cookie. We're not getting really good items, but hey, at least it's not overpowered. So, that's okay. I'll go heal my poor far-fetched. There's level 15. I'm about to be level 16. We're definitely going to be 16, maybe even 17, before we fight Silen. If I'm right about that. Why does that guy look like a Lego? This guy looks like a Lego. He looked like a Lego from the area I was standing. You know, with the claw hands? The sacred Ash? Sharp Beak! Oh, I can buy potions from here. I want that Sharp Beak. Uh, hmm, hold on. I want that Sharp Beak. I want that Sharp Beak. And that's 250. Uh, hmm, it only uses it once. I want that Sharp Beak. I want that sharp beak. 
that sharp beak. It's just gonna make it's just gonna make my moves more powerful. Okay. Here you go. Here you go, Antoinette. Take your item and love it. Because it's yours to hold forever. Until we find lucky eggs. Are you looking to, for the gym leader? He is not here. He could be in the trainer school. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. The trainer school is not far from this gym. Tis it right here? I don't think so. I think it's actually this way. I think it's like this really small building here. Hello, gym leader. Oh, it's Sharon. Well, I'm definitely going to be level 17 before the gym leader. When a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it is battling. Hey, Fetch. Have you come looking for the gym leader? Uh, yeah. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few minutes ago. Maybe you walked right past him. By the way, Fetch, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Sure. Well, let's see how effective my items are. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. Anyway, this is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting too rough. Do you have two Pokemon? Because they're both going down by my sharp beak powered aerial ace. Oh, Sharon. Oh, Sharon. You did it. Sharon, no. Okay, uh, confession time. Is Sharon a boy? I know Bianca's clearly a girl, but Sharon, I can never tell. For some reason, I just can never tell. It's important to choose which item your Pokemon holds. Well, yeah. I'm holding a shark beak that I bought not too long ago. That was an easy battle. I see. Losing to you means that I still have a lot to learn. Or, you know, uh, just go to the Pokemon Center. They have sharp beaks there. So learning to use items well is definitely important then. Okay, here, fetch. I'll give you these berries. Ooh, orange berries. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made items like potions to hold, they can't use them. Well, good luck then. I always found that weird, how they couldn't use potions on their own, but they can just eat berries on their own. <gasps> Hello? Silen? Yes. Yes, I am a gym leader of this town. You are... Right, you want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was your first Pokemon you chose? Gosh, what? I see. It's weak against grass-type Pokemon. I think you need to prepare a fa to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. Hi, Silen. I'm ready to fight you. Okay. If I remember this gym, you have to find the matchups, I think? Hello, I'm Clyde. I'm the guide for trainers challenging the Pokemon gym. We appreciate your challenge, the gym, each, you challenging the gym. Take this to commemorate the occasion. Ooh, fresh water. What is this? Oh, is this a restaurant? Okay, so water is great against fire, right? Is that the answer? Yes, that is the answer. Oh no, he can see me from everywhere. Welcome to Striaton Gym. Care for a taste of battle? I'll serve up the first course. I think we're gonna try to get to the cave. No, I think we'll probably just get through the stuff to the right, because you have to do the stuff to the, the dream yard stuff first. We'll probably do that, and then we'll end off the episode. But I mean, we're getting a good pace here. Especially with this new sharp beak. Oh, you lost, Martin. Hey, he was a server, though. So, I guess the trainer class didn't change. Is this gonna be another server? The specialty of Triton Gym, the full course trainer deluxe. I'm your second course. I do love the music in this game, though. Fisher Leo! So it's a Fisher. So that one must have just gotten lucky of being a server. Oh, my favorite gal- My favorite Unova Pokemon! Sandile! Oh no, is Ariel Ace special? 
We're about to find out. You know, I can't tell, actually. I guess we'll never know. I think this game is also the game where, if, when you get down to the gym leader's last Pokemon, it plays a new theme too, which is just makes this even more beautiful. It throws out the sense of it's like the final boss battle of the gym leader. And I like that. That's cool. That's just like an extra little touch that just makes this game so much more beautiful. I think that's this game. It might be Generation 3, I meant Generation 6, but I'm pretty sure it's Generation 5. And are we at Silen? Welcome to the Striaton City Pokemon Gym. I'm Chili. I light things up with Fire-type Pokemon. I'm a Water-type Specialist, and my name is Cress. Pleased to meet your acquaintance. And my name is Silent. I like Grass-type Pokemon. Uh, you see, as for why the three of us, um, are all here is, well, er... Oh, enough. Listen up. The three of us will decide whom you'll battle. I'll be... It'll be based on the type of the first Pokemon you chose. That is indeed the case. And the partner you chose... You first chose was Water-type, it seems. Nothing personal, no hard feelings. Me and my grass Pokemon will, uh... We're gonna battle. Come that way. Come that way, or come... Th what? So, um, if you're okay with me, I'll, um, put everything I've got into being, er, you know, your opponent. Okay, with sound like this during the anime, I never watched the black and white anime. I saw, like, a few episodes, but I don't remember him being like this. Gentleman Jessica. I don't remember him being like this in, like, the five-ish episodes I'd say I watched. Now, before I, like, go on, I have nothing personal against the Black White anime, it's just I don't have a way to watch it, really. I have nothing personal against the anime, I think it... I know it gets a lot of hate, but I just don't have a way of watching it, really, fully. There's just never been a way to watch it for me. Yeah, goodbye, Garboder. Hello, level 17. And Wubat. Oh, I'm sorry, Jessica. Huh? This is the game! It's like the final battle music! Da 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 da. You're dead, Wubat. Ah. And then it just goes right back to normal. Or no, it just ends it. Er, is it over now? What a surprise. You are very strong. Seems like not even Chili or Cress could beat you. I got the balance badge. I think that's what this is called. Please tell me I'm right. Please tell me I'm right. No, I think the second one's the balance badge. Am I wrong? It's the trio badge, of course. Gym badges are proof of a trainer's abilities. If you have one badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. We also want you to have this. I got soft-boiled. I might have accidentally randomized the TMs. I don't remember doing that. But whatever. TM83 contains workup. If you use workup, the Pokemon's attack and special attack go up. By the way, TMs can be used as many times as you want. Okay, goodbye, Silen. And the other two, which I complete Chili and Cress, I think. Hello. Hey there, I'm Fennel. Professor Juniper asked me to give you something. Please follow me. Hey, it's the house I was just in. You're going to meet all of the Pokemon in the Unova region, am I right? Oh, the stairs are right here. My room is upstairs, here. Come on, go upstairs. I have no choice but to go. So like I said, I'm Fennel, and as you can see, I'm a scientist. In fact, the subject I'm researching is trainers. Professor Juniper is my friend from college. She asked me to help you guys. 
So, I'll give you something to help you. This is a hidden machine for you. I got cut. Yeah, yeah. That's what I needed. There are some moves that a Pokemon can use even when it is not fighting. With this hidden machine, you can teach your Pokemon a move called Cut. It can cut down small trees. And you can use the HM as many times as you want, like a TM. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah, this is the generation where TMs are infinite instead of one-time use. This generation just helped with so many things. But it's difficult to make a Pokemon forget a hidden move once it learns it. And I'd like to ask you a favor, too. There is a place called the Dream Yard on the outskirts of Striaton City. I'd like some of the Dream Mist that the Pokemon there called Muna gives off. With that, I'll be able to use Game Sync to collect save files of various trainers. Okay, goodbye! I won't see you again for now. Uh, I guess I'll teach... Cut to my far-fetched here. Uh, no, we're not gonna teach it to Stunky. Since Farfetch can actually learn it, I might as well just give it to him. Uh, let's get rid of Leer. I mean, with the sharp beak, I don't think I'll need Leer for a long time. I don't think I'll need the sharp the Leer for a long time now that I have the sharp beak. Like, Aerial Ace is gonna be doing a lot of damage. And now, we can cut down a tree. Oh, it looks like it cut through me. Hi, Fetch, are you looking for the mysterious Pokemon too? Excuse me, you just cut me off. Okay. Oh, I hear it. Hey, did you hear a sound coming from the other side of that wall? Come on, let's go see. Uh, I thought you were gonna follow. <gasps> Hi, Muna! Excuse me. Oh, I have to go see Muna right now. Dang it! Moon! Oh, wait! <gasps> it's Team Plasma! We found you, Muna! Come on, come on, make some Dream Mist. Moo! Huh? Who are you? What are you doing? Are you talking about us? We're Team Plasma. We battle day and night to liberate Pokemon from foolish humans. What are we doing? The Pokemon Muna and Marshana emit a mysterious vapor called Dream Mist, which shows people's dreams. We're gonna use that to make people want to release their Pokemon. We'll show them, we'll show them dreams to, mani 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 to manipulate their hearts. Hey, stop smacking him! Come on, spit out that Dream Mist. You're kicking a Pokemon to make it give off dream, give off Dream Mist? That's mean. Why? You're trainers too, right? That's right. We're Pokemon trainers too, but we're fighting for a different reason. Unlike you two, we're fighting for the freedom of Pokemon. And setting Pokemon free means that we win Pokemon battles and take Pokemon by force. So on that note, we're going to rescue your Pokemon from you. Ah, don't hurt, Fetch! Aw, oh, Team Plasma's theme is amazing, too. Why is all the themes just so good in this game? <laughs> oh, Team Plasma. Oh, Team Plasma. Oh, shoot. You detected. Uh, take two. Oh, Team Plasma. That's a win in my books. Well, in everyone's books, too, actually. Were you not taking them seriously because they're kids? Well, whatever, I'm next. Are you thinking you're gonna defeat me, Analyst Anne? Oh, that's a, that's a hard name. It's almost a hard name to say. Oh, uh, hello, Duskull. Aw, uh, isn't it great having to fight Pokemon that aren't fully evolved yet? Oh, uh, the League's gonna be so tough. Just because I want it to be. Granted, I'm not complaining. I did that to increase the toughness. By Ruby and Sapphire, things are gonna get very tough. Right now, this is easy mode. Sorta. I can't believe you lost. 
But we have to obtain the Dream Mist. Stop it. Come on, make out... Make with the Dream Mist. Knock it off! <gasps> Gets this? What are you two doing goofing off? <gasps> Another Gets this? We, Team Plasma, shall separate Pokemon from foolish people. If you cannot fulfill your duties... Th this isn't... Gets this when he was gathering followers, or gets this when he was trying to control people by tricking them? With speeches? Yeah. This is gets this when a plan has failed and he's about to issue punishment. At any rate, let's hurry and say we're sorry for so he forgives us. <gasps> Musharna! This thing always looked weird. Shar! What was that just now? That person called Getsis appeared all over the place, and it wasn't real, right? Could it have been a dream? And that Pokemon... Oh! Hello, Fennel! I couldn't wait, so I came over. Is that Musharna? Musha? Muni! Did something happen? Oh, Fennel! Well, you see, Muna was here, but Team Plasma and Muna and Musharna came, and it showed us something like a dream. And then Team Plasma... I think I followed that. See, Mushana evolves from Muna, so seeing Muna in trouble, it used its power, making dreams into reality to save Muna. Which means, wait a second. Is this Dream Mist? With this, I can complete my research. You two come to my house later, okay? Okay. Phew, how random was that? Fetch, why don't, we, why don't you go to Fennel's house? Me? Well, I'm gonna look around for the Pokemon we just saw now. Because she's going to catch it, even though it's not actually going to be on her team, because the team's randomized. Shed Shell, that's the item that makes it so, like, with every damage I take, or I give to a trainer's Pokemon, every damage I do, it heals my health a little bit. So every time I attack, and do even, like, the littlest bit of damage, I think it, like, heals me a little bit or something like that. Is that right? Am I thinking of the right item? Oh, look at Doug Trio with all these little heads moving around. The anime just recently had an episode with Doug Trio as like the main focus of it, and Go caught it. But then he was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it to you because he's great with farming. <gasps> Ooh, this is this the weird. Oh, hello. This is the weird like shaky encounter, the shaky grass encounter. Hi, I'm Eloetta. That was a beautiful voice, actually. I liked that voice. Can you can you speak again? Dang it. Oh, no. No, don't raise your attack. Goodbye. That was a full-on mythical Pokemon right there, if I ever did see one myself. And we'll do like a few more encounters, and then we'll we'll go see what that lady wants, and then we'll go get some more encounters over there, and then we'll end off the episode before we start that uh, cave stuff with Iris. Actually, there's more items I want to get over here, so let's go grab the items, and then we'll uh, move on. Oh, there's an item right here. Insect plate. That's a good amount of money, so I can buy more sharp beaks for the farfetch I don't have right now. But I will have eventually. Choice Specs! Is that the thing that increases speed, but I can only use one move? Did I just get that right? Please tell me I just got that right. Boost Special Attack. Okay, I was thinking either speed or special attack, but I said speed. So I was wrong. Oh, is there more items back here too? <gasps> but I can't go over there. How do I get over there? Oh, that's the strength boulder, I remember now. I have to use strength to get over there. Well, fine, I won't go over there. Let's just go. I didn't want to go over there anyway. I'll probably go back and get that item that was on the first route. Let's go do that before we go check up on what Miss Fennel wants us to check up on. It's like right over here anyway. Yes, it is. We can get a free item. 
Even though it's probably going to be something... Oh, there's two free items. A hard stone. I don't have any rock-type moves, so this is useless. And... A Dow's Drive. That's the Genesect item. Unfortunately, I can't use Genesect. But if I could, I could have a Water-type Genesect, I think. Hello, Fennel, I'm here. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect save files of various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of my appreciation, I'll give you this Sea Gear to use. The Sea Gear is a device related to communications, such as infrared communication or Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Unfortunately, one of those does not work. Anymore. I got the Sea Gear. Uh, no. If you want to turn on the Sea Gear, touch the power symbol at the bottom right of the screen. Then, after turning on the power, if you touch the question symbol at the bottom right of the screen, you can read about the Sea Gear. About Game Sync, I'd like to explain a little more about the system to collect trainer save files. No. I'm sorry, I'm so happy, so I will explain about it. Because thanks to you, we can do this great thing. Now, games, I said no. I said no. I don't care. I can't use this. Oh, trainer, thank you very much for helping Fennel. This is from me. Please take it. Don't be shy. Oh, I got a notebook. A pal pad. You can register your friends in your pal pad. After you register, you can link with those friends over the Wi-Fi connection and do all kinds of fun things. You can trade Pokemon, challenge your friends to battle, and so on. Let me give you a quick... No. Stop it. I can't use that. Can I leave now? These people are telling me things I didn't want to learn. Well, let me choose what I want to learn. You know, I don't think I was paying attention to what items I could buy from here. What, like, other stuff can I buy? I could buy Sacred Ash, which is a pretty cool item. I think that can only be used in battle, though. Uh, but Beery Berry is weak against... We can super effective Steel-type attack against the olden Pokemon. Ooh, a Life Orb drains HP, but it boosts the power and moves. Shoal Shell. No. Okay. So we don't need anything from there. Let's go and check out and see what other Pokemon we can get on that route to the left. Because I know there's another route, and we'll check them out. Hopefully I can do that before starting the Iris... Oh no, my Pokemon was captured story. You know, when Iris shows up for the first time and she's like, Hey, these mean guys stole my Pokemon. Shoot, I don't think I can do that. Oh, no, no. Here is my favorite thing. Uh, here's my favorite thing about this game. I made a, like a, like a few second video on it. No, it's from X and Y. There is a slide that you can just ride your bike up. It makes no sense how you can just ride your bike up a slide. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh man, Empoleon! That's a Pengu! That's a Pengu. Oh man, I'm poisoned. I don't have a way to kill poison right now. I think this is the daycare center though, if I'm not mistaken. Like, this building that I'm fighting next to is the daycare center. I didn't mean to fight this trainer either, by the way. It just happened. I believe this is also the generation in which poison stops hurting you outside of battle? Let me see. Yeah, it is. You don't get hurt by poison anymore. Man, this game is just showing me why it's the best. Aw, oh, shoot. Okay, if I put away one of my Pokemon, will they not fight me? I think if I only have one Pokemon, they will refuse to fight me. And I can just move along. Right now, I don't need Stunky, so let's put him up. 
Because I can't fight with Stunky. That'd be cheating. And I don't want to fight right now to begin with because I'm poisoned. I just want to see what my encounters are on that little route, and then we'll end off the episode. It'll be a longer one, but hey. I've been making really shorter episodes lately just because I've been testing out this new recording software. This new recording app. So I've been making more shorter ones, but I think it can handle like a 50-minute episode. Okay, that's not fair. I... So, here's the problem. I only have one Pokemon. Um, hmm, we're gonna have to just cheat here. I'm obviously not gonna use the Stunky to battle, but I'm forced to carry Stunky into the battle. So basically what we're gonna do is... We'll take him, hopefully he'll end up dying in the battle. And I'll just like... Do something? I'll like heal him with a potion or something. Even though he like I'll like heal him with a potion and like throw a pokeball or something. I don't know. Just do something. I swear you could skip this battle though. If you only had one Pokemon. Oh that's great. I'm gonna have to fight a Magneton. So, basically, what we're going to do for Stunky here... What moves do I even have? Um, no, stop. I'll just... Uh, Orenberry. It's going to do nothing. And then, yeah. Perfect. Stunky, you're getting some levels. Isn't that cool for you? Isn't that cool, buddy, old pal? My main man, Stunky. And then we'll just use another potion. Shoot. Okay, it didn't matter anyway. I used the wrong Pokemon. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, no. I'm just gonna have to heal Stunky here. Uh oh. Oh, he's just gonna keep on going for me. I just have to hope I get a crit or something. Are you kidding me? I'll just use focus energy. It's not gonna matter. Okay. Okay. Okay, actually. That's fine. Keep on using focus energy because it's not gonna matter. And I'm dead. Well, that's it for this episode. I guess we'll never know. I guess we'll never know. Next time we will continue the story, I guess. I lost $200. I feel really sad. And there is Lego Guy again. <laughs> Okay, that's it for today's episode. Next time, we will hopefully get past that trainer. <gasps> I can buy great balls already. <gasps> I'll see you guys next time.